Mary Shan Young was born on November 20, 1959 in Louisville, Kentucky. She is the daughter of Lee Guthrie, nay Mary Lee Kane, an Emmy-nominated producer, screenwriter, public relations executive, and journalist, and Donald Young Jr., an Emmy Award-winning television news producer and journalist. She has Irish, English, and Swiss-German ancestry. She grew up with an older brother Donald Young III and a sister Kathleen Young in Cleveland, Ohio. She attended Cleveland Heights High School, and then transferred to and graduated from Interlochen Arts Academy. A trained dancer, she studied at the School of American Ballet in New York City, and did some modeling. Sean Young began a promising film career by acting in a merchant ivory film Jane Austen in Manhattan, 1980, for Academy Award-nominated director James Ivory. She followed that up in the comedy hit film Stripes, 1981, for Academy Award-nominated producer-director Ivan Reitman. Soon, important directors were casting her in their films, such as Gary Marshall in Young Doctors in Love, 1982, Academy Award nominee David Lynch in Dune, 1984, and Academy Award nominee Ridley Scott in Blade Runner, 1982, in what is her most respected film. 1987 was a big year for her, since she appeared in two big movies. Academy Award winner Oliver Stone cast her in the hit film Wall Street, 1987, but she clashed openly with him and with co-star Charlie Sheen and her role was drastically cut. However, her other hit film No Way Out, 1987, which involved a famous steamy scene in the backseat of a limousine with Kevin Costner, gave her star status. She was at the height of her fame, which led to her being cast as Vicki Vale in Batman, 1989. She had an accident while she was training for the film. As a result, she lost the role to Kim Basinger for what turned out to be the biggest hit of 1989. Young's loss didn't stop there. In 1988, she made a flop film with James Woods titled The Boost, 1988. Woods accused her of exotic harassment, including leaving a disfigured doll outside his home and leaving scary phone calls to his then fiancé. Young denied an affair with him or of harassing him, since she was in a long relationship with actor-singer Robert Lujan, whom she had met on a TV miniseries in 1985. They settled out of court, but the bad publicity hurt her career very deeply while Woods remained unscathed. Hollywood producers now saw her as unstable and a loose cannon and stopped considering her for big movies. She was dropped from Dick Tracy, 1990, in favor of Glenn Headley. The Batman franchise decided to make a sequel to the 1989 blockbuster with Batman Returns, 1992, but the producers wouldn't see Young for the role of Catwoman. She was outraged and went on national television, dressed up as Catwoman, 